What's up guys, today I have another topic to talk about and that is the reason why Lewis Hamilton is so hated in Formula 1 Lewis Hamilton gets a lot of negative feedback from the crowd, a lot of criticism a lot of controversy regarding Lewis Hamilton and whatever he does in his personal life, how he carries himself how he reacts sometimes on the stress and I feel like it's people looking for any way to talk bad about Lewis Hamilton and bring him down from the many things he's accomplished in Formula One and his in his career as a as an F1 driver. I mean, he's a four-time Formula One World Champion. He's considered one of the best drivers, period, in Formula One, and. According to uh, his records and his statistics, he is the most successful British driver in the history of the sport. Again, four world championships, about 64 uh, pole positions. He has the all-time most career points. I mean, he's won in different circuits, has many records, so I don't understand why people criticize and try to bring Lewis Hamilton down from what he's accomplished. I feel like when you're the number one person in a sport, in a, in a, in like an, in, I want to say an arena, but like an area, um, all eyes are on you. Anything that you do it will become controversial because you are under the spotlight all the time. So that's why I feel like um, people don't understand that. Especially about or, or successful people like that. Like people don't agree with the stuff he does sometimes. Especially recently when he uh, cursed. I think it was an accident or I'm not sure. In the post race uh, conference, they asked him why did he curse, and I remember. Sebastian Vettel was the one that stepped in and defended Lewis and said the truth because he was under all that adrenaline from racing and everything. And people were trying to judge and bring him down because he used foul language when it's not the ideal way to go about it, but it's obviously a human reaction and people immediately started targeting him for that. I touched on this a little bit earlier and I said that people don't like the way Lewis Hamilton carries himself, the way he dresses, his tattoos, his jewelry, the way he, he talks, the way he behaves. There's a lot of people who give him a lot of hate because of that. They don't like that. They feel like he's more of like a like this celebrity lifestyle that he has which people can disagree on it but at the end of the day Lewis Hamilton's job is to be a race car driver a Formula 1 driver and continue to be a successful Formula 1 driver and winning races and be dominant in the sport and that's what he's always done like you can't argue that again four world championships who's I mean there's not a lot of people who have done that so, regardless about your personal opinion of how, how he carries himself, at the end of the day, his job is to do that, to be an F1 driver. And he wants to be the best, and he's proven to be one of the best. So, regardless of how he carries himself, I feel like that's for personal interpretation. Yeah, people can hate on it, but at the end of the day, that doesn't affect the way he drives his car consistently and so dominantly. Another real argument for Lewis Hamilton is that his cars have always been the fastest on, on the grid, on the Formula 1 grid. He's always uh, had a capable car of competing in. He started with McLaren, which is where he won his first championship. I believe it was 2008. And then after that, he moved on to Mercedes, where he has been insanely and consistently dominant ever since so people say oh he 
people say that it's easier for him to compete in these cars because of the technology and obviously the, the brand that backs it up the car company that back up these cars mercedes mclaren which are obviously all capable uh companies of competing in formula one that have been successful in the in the past so my argument to that is there's no doubt that mclaren and mercedes have experienced racing and have been very successful in their racing uh careers and departments but for you to continue to be successful and to be so dominant and to consistently have a victory over victory and victory and victory and have four championships that not every driver gets to even have one. I mean, I think that says and talks a lot about Lewis Hamilton's capability of driving an F1 car on the limit, like consistently. There is no, no one can argue that that oh he's not good he's obviously good his record shows that so that's my counter argument to that point saying that Lewis Hamilton has been gifted or has been babied by McLaren or or Mercedes or any of that obviously again those cars are obviously competitive very competitive the technology is cutting edge but you can't just the car's not going to win it for you. You have to also have the skill to be able to drive one of those cars on the limit. And to do it consistently and over and over again proves that he's one of the best drivers. The people who receive the most hate in this world are the people who are most successful in whatever it is that they do. Whatever they put their mind to and they go through all the doubt and criticism and hard times they have to go through to reach that full potential in themselves and believe in that and then become number one like i said and you have the spotlight on you all the time 24 7 then i feel like anyone who is not under that spotlight or anyone who is jealous of that is obviously going to hate you so with that these are all my arguments and points as to why lewis hamilton is such a hated and controversial driver today in 2018 and why it actually doesn't matter why he does what he does in his personal life at the end of the day he will go down as one of the best formula one drivers to ever participate in the sport in history period Lewis Hamilton has guaranteed himself that spot because of his work ethic his confidence and all he does in Formula 1 cars by driving them on the limit. With that, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to get to them. And please subscribe so I can keep on making more videos like this. And keep on discussing ideas and topics like this.